Yo, what's up? Bob here. Welcome to Vinyl Finds on the Bob Bradley YouTube channel. Now, I'm going to tell you this right up front. I did not get a lot of records this week because Record Store Day is in five days. And I had to save, um, I have to save as much money as I can because Record Store Day is expensive. Um... I think everybody that's watching this knows that uh, Record Store Day can be very expensive. By the way, this is number 25. 25. Found one record this week, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to show that now. It's an Amy Winehouse record. Uh, Lioness, Hidden Treasures. This is from all the way back in 2011. Still sealed. Um, has this cool sticker on it that says previously owned by Ear Ecstasy. I don't know if you can see that, but that was a record store that was in um, my town and it's now closed. So this was for sale there and um, pretty excited to have it. Pretty dope record. Uh, does have a version of Valerie on it and um, <clears throat> Body and Soul. I was not really. Um, hip to Amy Winehouse when she first came out. Um, I don't know, I just kind of brushed it off as like some kind of retro thing that was going on at the time. But, uh, later on, I <clears throat> started paying attention and realized she was pretty good. And so, really like, uh, it's a shame that she is no longer with us, but, um, what are you gonna do? You know, that is the struggle of being an artist sometimes. <clears throat> now, let's get into this Record Store Day. This is a Record Store Day primer. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the records that I'm interested in trying to get, and next week we'll see if, um, if I'm successful or not. So, coming up first, there is a Grateful Dead uh, record. Uh, it's from what I understand, it's not a live album. It is the Sage and Spirit LP. Um, it's limited. I, I'm not familiar with it. I have tons of Grateful Dead stuff, so um, I'm going to try to get that. I, I don't think I'm going to have any trouble with that. Um, you know, I'm always down for a little bit of a, a light jamming, if you know what I mean. Uh, the Crow soundtrack, which I think is going to be the... Uh, one of the things that people are actively trying to get. It is not limited, so I don't see why there should be a problem. Everybody should be able to get it. Um, you know, last year was all about the typo negative Bloody Kisses release, and um, there was not a lot of those at all. So... I don't think a particular title has emerged this year um, as far as like what everybody's after, but <clears throat> I think that Crow soundtrack is going to be one of the things that most people are trying to get because it is a killer soundtrack. If you don't know, um, it has the Stone Temple Pilots track, Big Empty. It has a Rage Against the Machine song on it, um, Jesus and Mary Chain. Violent Femmes, great soundtrack. And I'm definitely, that is the one thing I'm determined to get. I'm definitely getting the Albert King Born Under a Bad Sign reissue. Uh, I believe it's uh, somewhat limited. Um, I'm going to get that for sure. There's a, yet another Herbie Hancock um, record coming out. Last year was The Flood, and this year another uh, uh, Get On Down record. And I will be very interested to um, 
hear that. I'm going to try to get it for sure. And <clears throat> I'm also going to try to get the... Um, there's an Al Green... Well, I don't know if I'm going to get it or not, but I am interested in this Al Green box set that is... Uh, it's like 26 singles in a single uh, box, and I'm thinking about... Well, I don't know how much it is, so that'll be the first thing. I'm going to try to get a... <laughs> get a feel for the price, but uh, I am interested in that. There's a Cheech and Chong up in smoke, which is like uh, shaped like a pot leaf. And I don't normally do like weird shaped records, but um, I, I'm a big Cheech and Chong fan, so I'll probably do that. Soul Slabs Volume 2 is, um, yeah, coming out. It's three LPs this year. Um, I got it a few years back. Great uh, compilation of soul, f funky soul 45s. Um, again, depending on the price, I might get Soul Slabs Volume 2. The Doors, London Fog. If you, It's a 10 inch, but if you don't know, London Fog was a club. The Doors were the house band, blah, blah, blah. Um, very early on in their in their uh, in their career, don't step on that. And uh, <clears throat> the the chances of me getting that are pretty good, actually. Uh, there's a soul jazz box that is called Boombox 45s. It's early uh, hip hop stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, that seems pretty cool, depending on the price. Again, I might pick that up. And last, which could be um, maybe one of the big... Uh, want a coveted item this year is the Pink Floyd Saucer Full of Secrets in mono. Um, I think there's a lot of people that don't have the record, and this is a perfect chance to get a really clean mono pressing of the album. So... I think that's going to be, yeah, one of the things that is, like, a lot of people want. There's also a Trout Mask replica, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much uh, appeal that has to a large number of people. Records, I've been listening to that, well, hold on. That concludes the Record Store Day. Next week, I'm going super hard. I've been training Next week, we're going to see if I get any of these. Uh, you know how Record Store Day is. I've already been talking to some people, and they've already told, uh, you know, people that work at record stores, and they already said that there were people uh, planning on being there in the middle of the night, etc. You know, uh, I'm going to get there as early as I can. So we'll see what happens records I've been listening to this week. I've been listening to this one real hard. The Who. Um, who's Next? If you don't know this record, you should. It's not an expensive record. Uh, Bob O'Reilly, Behind Blue Eyes, Won't Get Fooled Again. Bargain is on here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this, you know, people say, you know, like, oh, you know, um, Quadrophenia are... Uh, Tommy are their favorite Who records. Not me. This. This is dope. Okay. Um, we had a little bit of an 80s night uh, last night. <laughs> Listen to this. Uh, Daryl Hall and John Oates, Private Eyes. Kind of a surface sounding, uh, sounding record. I think because of all the drum machines. But uh, it's got... Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, I can't go for that. Um, and uh, what else is on this? I forget now. You know, 
Hall and Oates usually only have about two good songs on each record. <laughs> uh, Talking Heads, Speaking in Tongues. I think this might be one of their best records. It does have uh, Burning Down the House and um, uh, This Must Be the Place. Uh, real killer. It also has some other, I mean, it has a Girlfriend is Better, uh, Slippery People. I mean, it has uh, Moon Rocks, Pull Up the Roots. I mean, it's really good. Um, been seeing a lot of people complaining about the crystal clear sleeve with the flap, saying they don't like them. I love them. Pro tip, lay the record down when you're doing it. You won't have any problems at all. <clears throat> Next. Aha. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh, take On Me is on this. You know, these are classic tracks. Before Weezer did them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is called Hunting High and Low. Real good. It's on Warner. Aha. Uh -huh. Classic. Real Big Fish did a nice version of Take On Me in the 90s. Boom, another Talking Heads. Remain in Light. Uh, Once in a Lifetime is on this, plus a lot of other great tracks. Mine's a little bit beat, but still pretty good. On Sire. <clears throat> Tears for Fears, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Yep, we listen to that too. Last but not least, a little men at work. Man, this is a dope record, actually. Uh, who can it be now? Uh, Down Under. <sighs> cool record. These are all inexpensive records. You can get them. You can take your own trip back to the 80s. <laughs> You've got to come back with me. If you just buy these records, plus a few more, you know. Uh, if you had Toto's Africa, you would complete the total 80s experience there. Um, who's next? Ooh, that's fire. Um, Amy Winehouse, Lioness. Please like, subscribe, tell a friend, leave a comment down below. Next weekend is Record Store Day. I'm pumped about it. There, there's a bunch of 7 inches out there that I was originally interested in. And, um, you know, they're usually around long after Record Store Day is over. So I'm not really focused on them. Uh, I'm focused on, you know getting the full-length LPs that I'm interested in. So we'll see what happens until we meet again. Bob out.
just don't.